Hello everyone, this is the report of Group 1. The topic that we will be discussing is all about Thorndike's theory of connectionism. Now before we discuss his theory, let us first know who is Edward Lee Thorndike. One of the main influences of behaviorist psychology was Edward Lee Thorndike. He was best known as the father of modern educational psychology and the founder of behavioral psychology. Edward Lee Thorndike's Biography Edward Lee Thorndike was born on August 31, 1874 in Williamsburg, Massachusetts and is a son of Edward R., a Methodist minister and Abbey B. Thorndike. He died on August 9, 1949. He worked as a psychologist, educator, lexicographer, and, and he is a pioneer in educational research. His IQ were believed to be nearly at 200 and has completed his PhD in 1898 in Columbia University. He wrote books such as Notes on Child Study in 1901, Principles of Teaching Based on Psychology in 1906, and Education, a first book in 1901. 12. Connectionism theory or SR theory. When we say S, this is the stimulus and R for response. Connectionism is a learning theory based on the concept of bonds between stimulus and response. The theory suggests the transfer of learning depends upon the presence of identical elements in the original and new learning situations. Example, transfer is always specific, never general. Connectionism theory was meant to be a general theory of learning for animals and humans. This is Edward Lee Thorndike's puzzle box. The classic example of Thorndike's SR theory was a cat learning to escape from a puzzle box by pressing a lever inside the box. After much trial and error behavior, the cat learns to associate Pressing the lever, which is the stimulus, with opening the door, siya yung response. This SR connection is established because it results in a satisfying state of affairs. Yung result is yung makascape from the box, yung cat. The law of exercise specifies that the connection was established because the stimulus response pairing occurred many times. So, ito yung law of effect and was reforded as well as forming a single sequence, so yung law of readiness. The three primary laws under connectionism theory is a law of readiness. It states that the more readiness the learner has to respond to the stimulus, the stronger the bond between them. Law of readiness is a satisfying state of affairs results when an individual is ready to learn and is allowed to do. So being forced to learn when not ready or being prevented from learning when ready to learn result is an annoying state of affairs. Number two, law of exercise. It tells that the more SR stimulus and response bond is practiced, the stronger it will become. Law of exercise is a law with states that on learning, the more frequently a stimulus and response are associated with each other, the more likely the, the, the particular response will follow the stimulus. The law implies that one learn by doing and one cannot learn the skills for instant by watching others. Law of effects. If the response satisfies the subject, they are learned and selected and more likely to be repeated when those which are not satisfying are eliminated. Law of effects, a principle associated with learning and behavior, which states that behaviors that lead to satisfying outcomes are more likely to be repeated than behaviors that lead to unwanted outcomes. Real Phenomena and Productive Thinking Thorndike wrote extensively. 
publishing more than 78 books and over 400 articles. He almost single-handedly defined and established educational psychology. He changed the study of child development into an objective science. He established the use of tests and statistical methods in psychology and education. He was instrumental in the psychological testing movement in psychology, and he conducted literally hundreds of experiments on learning and transfer using human subjects. Principles of organization means are a set of principles which determines the existence and functioning of organization. The early theory on management and organization in the early 20th century spoke of principles of efficiency. Number one, the learning requires both practice and rewards based on law of effects or exercise. The law of effects is a psychology principle advanced by Edward Thorndike in 1898 on the matter of behavioral conditioning that then formulated as such which states that response that produce a satisfying effect in a particular situation become more likely to occur again in that situation and response that produce a discomforting effect become less likely to occur again in that situation. Law of Exercise A law which states that in learning the more frequently a stimulus and response are associated with each other the more likely the particular response would follow the stimulus. The law implies that one learns by doing and one cannot learn a skill for instance by watching others. Number two, a series of SR or stimulus response connection can be chained together if they belong to the same action sequence based on law of readiness. Law of readiness, this law states that learning can only take place when a student is ready to learn. When students feel ready, they learn more effectively and with greater satisfaction than when not ready. Number three, transfer of learning occurs because of previously encountered situation. Trans of learning occurs when people apply information, strategies, and skills they have learned to a new situation or context. Transfer is not a dis discrete activity but it is rather an integral part of the learning process. Number four, intelligence is function of the number of connections learned. is about contribution and criticism. Tarnt Dyke contributed a great deal of psychology, his influence on animal psychologists, especially those who are focused on behavior plasticity, greatly contributed to the future of the field. Tarnt Dyke was the first to apply psychological principles to the area of learning. His work represents the transition from the school of functionalism to behaviorism and enable psychology to focus on learning theory. His work on motivation and attitude for motion directly affected studies of human nature as well as social order. Turned like research draft comparative psychology for 50 years and influenced countless psychologists over the period of time and even still today. Turned Dye's law of effect and puzzle box mythology were subjected to the failed criticism by behaviorism and many other psychologists. The criticism over the law of effect mostly cover four aspects of the theory 
the implied or retroactive working of the effect. The philosophical implication of the law. The identification of the affected condition that caused learning and the comprehensive usefulness of, of the law. His theory of learning, especially the law of effect, is most often considered to be greatest achievement. But in 1929, Thorndike addressed his early theory of learning and claimed that he had been wrong. After further research, he was forced to denounce his law of exercise completely because he found that practice alone did not strengthen an association and that time alone did not weaken an association. He also got rid to half of the law of effect after finding that a satisfying state of affairs strengths an association, but punishment is not affected and modifying behavior. The place a great emphasis on consequences of behavior as setting the foundation for what is and is not learned. A Timeline on Edward Lee Thorndike's Life Edward Lee Thorndike was born in 1874. In 1898, he was awarded his doctorate for work on animal intelligence. In 1897, he applied for a graduate program at Columbia University. In 1899, he served as an instructor in psychology at Teachers College of Columbia. In 1905, he formalized the law of effect. In 1911, he published his book titled Animal Intelligence. In 1917, he was one of the first psychologists who admitted to the National Academy of Sciences. In 1921, he ranked number one as an American man of science. In 1934, he was elected president of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. He retired on 1939, and in 1949 was the year he, he died.